much from me. Um, I'm from Wellington, so I'm here to help you as well, as Jeff would say. Um, from my credentials, I am a sheep beef farmer from Central North Island. Um, and there are some take-home messages, guys. Um, we're treating this seriously. We want to get rid of it. But don't panic. If we can't get rid of it, other countries live with it and we're going to learn to. So just don't, don't overreact. Um, but we certainly are not going to give up. I'm going to get rid of this disease if we can. Um, I, I think it's a wake-up call for all of us, and I'll call myself in that one as well. Um, we need to kind of start treating it, and my, our, my president calls treat our farms like a biosecurity fortress. We have to start segregating and separating our farms as our operations from the outside world. So we need to think about some things like separating tanker tracks and, and access ways to houses and wool sheds from the rest of the property. Um, think about not using the tanker track also as the farm vehicle track separate. There's some really sensible things we can do. Um, we're going to have to give Nate a good kick along, guys. Um, Fence wasn't actually a great fan of Nate a few years ago. Um, we'll put our hand up for that. Look, we've got to comply with it. Um, we've got to front up that this is our system to keep our industry safe from a biosecurity perspective and in relation to uh, selling product to high quality customers overseas and high paying customers. So um, you'll see us pushing Nate pretty hard, all the industry players. Um, we just don't need really to back off from that. And yeah, if it doesn't work, we'll try and make it work better. But please, please make know where your animals come from and where they're going. Uh, and that means some of the, the agents that are, that are working on your behalf, ask them before they deliver the animals where they're coming from and know where they're going. Um, there are some really simple things we might like to think about, and we don't want regulators to do this because it never works when a regulator tries to do it. But think about creating a buffer around the whole farm. And it might be a vegetation buffer. We might even get carbon credits for if we push hard enough for this government. So separate your farm from the neighbours. Um, and this is from this is from a whole lot of things. Um, and this, the, the, as the um, last speaker said, the, the, the whole industry will be coming out with the Warren Fitness in the next couple of days, I think. Um, Chris Morley from Dairy New Zealand is leading that, so that will help you to think about some of the things we can do. But look, um, it's really great to see so many people here. Um, take, take what you hear tonight um, seriously, but also um, realise, as I say, if we can't beat this, we can live with it, and we'll learn to live with it, but we're going to beat it.